Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So the VMAs just happened and looks walked down the red carpet. And today we are going to be talking about the most beautiful ones and some that are very depressing actually. You know, mixture of the yin and the yang. Let's kick things off with one that was not really my favorite. We've got Tyler here in a neon themed outfit. So the outfit is held together by so many strings, hundreds of strings I believe. And the main color is like a neon yellow color but then it has a green underwear she's wearing a green underwear underneath it and she accessorizes with um with a turquoise blue neck piece um i feel i understand what they're trying to do because the shoe is pink so i feel like they're trying to color block here but it wasn't really my favorite i just i i don't know i think it's maybe for someone else but for me, I think it's just to the colors are not really popping enough for it to be a successful color blocking adventure. But I also feel like the green of the neck piece should have matched the green of the panties that we can see underneath. And so this is not Tyler's most classy look that I've seen. I feel like she could do better. So that's my thought about that. And the hair, I don't know. I feel like we should have braided it or something or made it all black because this color just kind of mixes up with the rest of the colors going on and just makes everything bad you know it just makes everything bad so for me i do not like it and uh, that is what i feel stepping as far away from that tackiness as possible we have lala lisa in this nude bulgari gown this is the best dress that has ever walked down vma's red carpet quote me anywhere like i'm adoring this dress i adore this dress so this dress is a nude dress and the fabric is not really shiny so it's like a dull face fabric but then the inner corset that she's worn inside has this shiny satin casing for the boning underneath and then it's it has this glowing um feature that comes out from the bust area i think it's tiny sequins that were placed there to give it this glow so the contrast between the shiny part of the corset and then the dull face part of the outfit just makes it glorious. And then we come through with the draping from the side shoulder down to, you know, the hips and we can see a bit of skin perfection. And then we now added the hoodie and then we have the gloves. It's like a lot of tiny details, but they all work together as one. And do you know why they work together? Because they were done in the same color, but we have different textures of the same color and the jewelry she wore was perfection then the gown goes down and we have a little bit of a mermaid situation going on and it kind of omelets on the floor gorgeous this is perfection i love this i love the color everything just tastes so luxurious in my mouth and she just looks so wealthy it's nice for the vma nice for an evening out but it also looks young and you know innovative it's something that we've seen before actually but done in a very very beautiful way i think bulgari nailed this look this look is one for the books and the bralette underneath or whatever is holding her boobs up is is done in the same exact color so you don't get to see any contrast i think this is the most perfect dress this dress gets like an 11 out of 10 so yeah this is beautiful then the hair the makeup everything is just glorious like just minimalist beautiful soft young and just looks divine okay so megan the stallion was the one that hosted the award and i think she did a wonderful job hosting an award comes with a lot of outfit changes but let's talk about this one that she did the red carpet with so this is like it's a, a, a bouquet of flowers and they just wrapped her in it she's the bouquet of flowers and this is what they wrapped her in i think this is beautiful especially because it was done in the same color i like how it looks sexy but not trashy it's not like we're trying too hard to show too much skin or look too sexy it's just one color just some sheer um leggings going on there and then we have the black wrap that goes and becomes like this large ball gown kind of situation i love it and the jewelry is very minimalist very nice it's a very sweet spot between um, trying to be sexy but also trying to be very classy and i think that it is gorgeous i loved it but then she later changed into this red dress this definitely has robert one written all over it why did i say that because of the burnt edges of the gown but yeah it's a, it's a blazer dress it's a deconstructed blazer dress that has this satin bustier 
and the corset but then it goes down and becomes this half blazer half coat that goes down in this nice fabric i love it i think it's very creative um i've seen a better red robot one that wisdom k wore but this is like the feminine version and um the suit part of it kind of feels a bit bland honestly i feel like um uh, i expect something to be done there but it was not done but on the overall i think it's a successful look and it does capture attention but then she wore this outfit where she's paying homemade to britney spears and in this outfit she had a snake on it at the point she was like get a snake off of me i'm not friends with this snake i don't know this snake the snake doesn't know me and i'm like okay okay Stop the music. I'm just playing. Come get this snake. I don't know this snake. This snake don't know me. Oh my God. I tried to hold it down for Britney. But I think it's nice. I thought that it was brilliant. Britney wore it for a performance. So that was definitely a performance outfit. But I think it was nice. I think it was sweet and it was nicely done. So the girls were not plain actually. They were very, very daring. And one of the most daring outfits that I saw on the red carpet was Addison Ray in this Miss Claire Sullivan. And I think this is... <laughs> okay so there's a bit of distortion going on in the boobs area so it's not like a natural looking boob area you know of an outfit it has this extra padding done to it by the corner of each of the boobs and then it also has a panty and we also have this um what do you call it this bridal veil at the back so this would be like a very naughty vegas bride i think it's a successful look i like it i don't have anything against it just because it's done in one color and it has a very clear point of view. I'm not here to be a good girl, a decent girl. I'm not the bride that your, parent, your parents maybe want. But I'm here and I'm here to make a statement. I think she did that very successfully. So let's move on to Sabrina Carpenter who was wearing an archive 1991 but mucky gown. And this gown is a reference to Madonna who was referencing Marilyn Monroe and you can see the similarities between them with the blonde hair and then the dress i think the dress is very beautiful it's very classy it's giving me oscars vibes it gets an a plus just because of the reference value of it there's really not much to do if you're referencing someone you kind of just wear it and then style your hair the way you would do and then the makeup too is referential as well here we see madonna on the vanity fair magazine cover wearing the same outfit but she styled hers with a fur coat but I think Sabrina Carpenter wore it nicely. So, yeah. Yes. Absolutely, yes. Okay, we have to talk about Lil Nas X in this outfit. It's not the most shocking outfit Lil Nas X has ever worn. It looks like a Mercedes Formula 1 driver's outfit. Actually, it's like... I think it's an okay outfit. Uh, I don't expect anything less. He shows the abs, he shows the regular things that we know him for. So I think it's a successful outfit. Moving on, we have Katy Perry who kissed her man on stage and she loved it. And she's wearing this outfit. It looks like an Indian lehenga. That's the reference I'm getting from this. And it's beautifully done. It's kind of like degraded fabric. You can see the strings that make up that fabric. And on the boobs area too, it has the same bandeau thing going on. And I think it's nice, it's brilliant. It's kind of a way to carry something that would have been boring but then you use interesting material interesting fabrics to make it so i think it was a successful outfit i i do appreciate the one that she wore for her performance which was really really nice as well i felt like that was really beautiful and it kind of takes you to like a dystopian future where humans and machines are all in one and you kind of have this skin color dripping or something you know, but I like it. I feel like the stage one was nice. I feel like it's a stronger it's a stronger look and it would also have worked on the red carpet. And the shoe also, you can see how like it's a dystopian kind of thing. Even the leggings that she's wearing is kind of like torn. Some of the ropes are out. So I think that it's it's a it's 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 it is it's a very <laughs> brilliant outfit. Okay, moving on to some Olympic magic. We have Jordan Chills and she's wearing a custom off-white outfit. I don't think I like this outfit, although it pays reference to her sports background and her sports career. I feel like it just looks too cheap. 
just looks like it's made from fabric that you can get anywhere we could have made it like a beautiful dinner dress a beautiful evening dress give some of the sports elements in it like with the same lines the same everything but a more expensive looking fabric so to me this wasn't really a success i really did not like it i felt like this is something that you can wear to sleep so if you're gonna have for something that is a bit more special a bit more black tie probably should take it a bit more seriously yeah i that's what i feel about it but it was sweet to see Jordan Chills have a very beautiful moment with Flavor Flav on stage when he delivered on his promise to give her a bronze watch that the Olympics cannot take away from her after her horrible Olympics experience with the bronze medal controversy. Okay, moving on, we have Glorilla and she's wearing this very tiny strap, probably one inch bandeau with a jacket. And the pants, the palazzo pants, it's a metallic outfit. And I can assure you that it's 7 p.m. frat, it's 900 degrees, she ain't got no nigga, and no nigga ain't got her. She definitely turned up the heat with the abundance of cleavage we can see, and then the abs. Woo, this outfit was fire. I love it, her hair complements this outfit so well. And for her kind of personality and her kind of taste and her kind of um, brand, she loves sexiness. So sexiness is part of her brand. So wearing this bandeau is on the nose. It's exactly what she should be doing. And for her performance, she later switched into this bedazzled blazer with the tie and the white collar and the white cuffs with the bedazzled hat. Loved it. All these later came off and we just had full-blown sexy. I'm telling you, 7 p.m. Friday is 900 degrees. She made sure of that. Loved it. And there she is with Tinashe. Tinashe is also serving the girls. So we have the bigger girls with Glorilla, but we have the smaller girls with Tinashe. I think Tinashe looks beautiful, honestly. She looks like a kiss of sunshine. <laughs> Moving on, we have Taylor Swift, who is wearing this outfit that I don't know what to think about this, honestly. I don't like it. I'm sorry. I don't like it. It looks, it just looks okay. It just looks okay. It just looks like performance outfit, like i don't know honestly really don't have much to say about this so i'm just gonna move on because i really do not like it and now we have austin mills and he's wearing a pair of black pants with a black louis vuitton jacket i love how there's a monogram of the louis vuitton brand on top of the leathery part of the jacket i think this is a great contrast i love the outfit it looks expensive Looks like some chunky coins were dropped for it. And there's just one thing about wearing one color, like all one color, it just looks luxury. You know what? If, you, if a man is not wearing suits, like a pair of suits and, you know, bow tie or any other tie, I appreciate it because guys, they don't like stepping outside the box. They just like wearing the same thing over and over. But we have Colton here. Colton Haynes and he's wearing a gray Dior pinstripe suit. I love the palazzo-ness of the pants and I love how the inner shirt is light blue. The whole outfit gives me a very chill, relaxed vibe. The pockets are out and it has this other design on it and the edges of the fabric are a bit frayed so it gives it a bit of texture. It's not too refined, not too within the line. So I think this is beautiful. I like it. I love it. Up next, we have Carol G and she's wearing this flame dress. This dress is beautiful. It's a little bit simplistic for the VMAs. I don't know. I might want taking the VMAs too seriously. Maybe I am. But I feel like this whole outfit is a bit too simplistic for the VMAs. We could have gone for something more serious. But the idea is there. The creativity is there. And I, I love it. I think this is a beautiful dress. And her hair as well is very, very nice. Very, very lovely. And here we have the three musketeers in red. This is a nice way to wear the same color, have like the same theme. Um, even though the outfits don't look like they're from the same collection, but at least the color is something that joins them together. I've seen this dress before, this leather one. I've seen it on Kim Kardashian. Hers was black, I think, if I'm not mistaken, or white. No, 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 hers was silver. So this is not really that new, but it looks so good on her. And I love the fact that she's not wearing, you know, much jewelry. It's just very simple, flows nicely. Then the lady next to her wearing the dress that has been made with these stripes of red on top of the nude. I love that we cannot see the underwear. It's always nice when they put in the effort to match the color of the person with the color of the underwear underneath on the mesh so that it's to sell the illusion we know you're wearing something but we want to 
think we want to deceive ourselves we want to be delulu to think that you know you're not wearing anything underneath so yeah that was successful the other one i've seen on everybody it's not a unique look you know what from a designer's point of view this is something that you can make in 30 minutes or less so i don't think it's not it's i think it's too simplistic i think you just bought it for maybe fifteen dollars yes besides the fact that it looks a bit cheap it also does not look like a lot of effort was put into it but together they look beautiful together the other ladies are helping her they're just holding her hand and helping her not to you know be at the bottom next up we have lola brooke and she's wearing this cotton candy dress i love it so much you can also see some of the cotton candy on the floor as well so i think this is so creative i feel like i should just go and eat some of it off of her body that if it's real cotton i think lady gaga is someone that would have worn this one in actual cotton candy but i don't think lola brooke did that but i love the dress i love how the cotton candy gets a bit thick around the boobs around the nipples to cover the girls and then it kind of frays a bit more and lets in a bit more air around the sides that you know we want to show so it's a nice bundle outfit i always wonder how they sit down when they go into the actual event but i guess they figure it out up next we have one that is not my favorite we have peppermint and she's going for a japanese or asian streetwear outfit and there's something about it that is a bit off for me um is it the eyes is it the hair the hair is like all the way backward on the hairline i don't feel like this is deserving of a vma i think this looks like a video shoot set okay well maybe vmas for video video music awards and the video shoot set outfit maybe it works but i've seen better people have set the bar higher and now we have a money long made for me so this outfit is nice it's kind of sexy romantic lace sheer and it has this dark purple color and this burgundy color i don't know if this is the best i've seen but it's certainly not the worst it's just there it's just there um what are we trying to do like what are we trying to sell what's what are we trying to achieve i don't if i don't know the goal then i wouldn't know if we're there or not up next we have coco jones mama coco oh my god i love this outfit it looks like a mesh barbed wire this is a dream this is like that cotton candy one but a bit more grown version of that one it's all silver it's cohesive her legs are out sexy young girl out there trying to have fun and i think this is beautiful honestly i think this is beautiful and very memorable as well it's not regular it's not something you wear to a regular dinner it's something you wear to a music award show where creatives are there so it shows that you paid attention and you were creative about it next we have dj khaled and he's wearing a pink two-piece nothing much to say about this just very boring regular day out we didn't put any effort vmas are just you know a thing so we just went next up we have hugo gloss in this black and white outfit i like it i like it because it's new and then you can see how the black the black tie comes underneath the suit and just pops out around the crotch so i don't know what's happening around the crotch maybe we sat down and then it got a bit squeezed that's forgiven um uh i don't know men uh, okay whatever there's one that i saw oh la la here it is amelia de moldenberg this dress is the second best dress i've seen on the red carpet so it also plays with the same color of fabric but different textures of the same color of fabric and you can see how it's gathered around the bust area and around the waist area and also around the thighs to give it a bit of more texture i love it i think this looks so divine it looks very classy i could wear this anywhere honestly anywhere that i want to feel respected and classy like a boss chick who has made a lot of money but is still humble but is also stylish honestly i felt like that was one of the best ones that walked the red carpet next we have mona leo and she's wearing this pink satin outfit that looks cheap to the gods I do not like it especially from the waist down from the waist up looks like a you know sweet 16 birthday party dress that you wear for that kind of event 
but from the waist down it looks like uh you know it's not even lined because i can see the seams down so uh, it just makes it look cheap honestly and remember that i'm not saying that the outfits are cheap it just looks cheap no matter how much you buy our outfits we don't want it to look cheap we want it to look expensive and that did not look expensive i'm sorry next up we have bambi bambini in this green bralette and then the tool skirt okay this tool skirt has been done a million and one times by now this is the million and second one i'm promising you that so but it just looks bland it's just showing leg and the bundle and this is not even in the same fabric so the bundle just looks like a very cheap you know when kylie dropped her kylie swim and then people were saying the fabric is just flimsy this is what that's giving me i can see more close up but it just looks flimsy and uh, i do not like it and it says d and g so i don't know if this is dolce and gabbana but if it is come on domenico dolce you are better than this okay so moving on to this red outfit the sparkly things on it makes it mm, they make it look cheap but then the butterflies are nice i always like a fantasy so it looks like if they are 3d butterflies i'm wondering what's happening what's happening it's very cohesive with what's going on on her hair as well because you can see that her hair has the butterflies as well so i think this is nice but i feel like we can do away the fabric itself just looks cheap anything that is like lycra looks cheap you know it just makes it look cheap <laughs> i don't know what other word to use <laughs> so this is ts madison and i'm sorry y'all if it looks cheap but you could make it look expensive there are fabrics that look expensive and the way you use them you know they would look expensive but then there are some that actually do look cheap you know up next we have tate mccray and she's referencing britney spears in this net outfit in this lace outfit I think it just looks nice, but I, I, have, I have more respect for it because of the reference value. Other than that, it's just going to look like a normal girl that's just trying to show off her body. And, you know, it's just, it's just cheap publicity, if you ask me. But because she's referencing somebody, I think it's nice. I think it was nicely done. And it's always good to, you know, pay respect to people that were there before you. It's always a sweet thing to do so that when you are on your way out and the time will come, I'm sorry, nothing lasts forever. Other people will pay homage to you and say, oh yeah, I'm wearing this thing that the other person wore for so, 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 and so event. A worthy mention is Paris Hilton in this chainmail dress that has been degraded, has been shredded actually into so many pieces. Is it just me or Paris Hilton has this very funny pose where she leans all the way back? It looked good in the 90s, but come on, like there are different ways to pose. I think this one is just too much and it makes it look a bit caricature. But on the overall, I think the outfit is fabulous. It's done in one color, all silver, and the jewelry complements it. I love this outfit. Good to go. We also have Hailey Bailey in this red sequin dress. Now, this dress reminds me of Lady Gaga's meat dress to the VMAs 10 years or uh, 14 years ago. And I don't like the fit, but I think it's okay. Now we're gonna give the award for the bestest and the worstest. So the bestest has to be this Bulgari one. Absolutely adore it. Um, I feel like it's perfect, honestly. And I would wear that dress even if a thousand people already have it. I don't care. I don't follow trends. I wear what I wear. I like what I like. It is what it is. And then for the worst one, the contest is between this one and um i wouldn't say tyla is at the worst she's not at the bottom but she's certainly not at the top um i don't know man i don't want to say anything too bad but you know you tell me which one is the worst one you tell me which one is the worst one okay thank you so much for hanging out with me my name is jojo the map have a fabulous day remain stylish remain blessed and remember you're beautiful whatever i've said here is just fashion it's just clothes it's not life or death you know so it's just my opinion so let's remember that as we watch these videos okay i'm tired let me go get something to eat girls and boys thanks for being with me bye